I bought one of those protection boards which is XH-M603 it's a 12 volt to 24 volt charge control module I bought this off Amazon and today I'll show how to hook it up and use it this is the first time I'm trying this out so if we go boom at least it would be on camera You have to be very careful because of uh, the spikes at the back. You see how long these spikes are. This is uh, the unit. I have a power supply which I will be using it on this side mark in so this is the power side this is the battery side so first you will hook up your batteries to the unit before the power supply this is the plus This is the minus. This is the voltage of, of the battery. 11.4 volts let me see with this meter what it says eleven point nine eleven point eight and this is eleven point four now to set the unit to the starting and stopping this here is the starting you press it it blinks and you would uh, this is increase this is decrease so 
the starting of it would start at 11 and uh, you would press where you want it to stop you would press this one let it blink and uh, I'll let it stop at 13.5 and you would let it stop it will automatically go back to the voltage of the battery then you would take the power from your power supply it has to be DC voltage I should make myself some clips I'll pause the video for now, I think I, I'm going to make. Okay, I didn't like the the way I had it the first time. This is more secure than what I had. So to set the charging voltage, you would hold this one and press let go when it start blinking then you would press whatever voltage you want it to start at i would let it start at 11 you would let it go it would keep on blinking when it stop then you would set the stop charging and it seems like it has the memories it remembered so it would start charging at 11 it will stop charging at 14. so i would put on the power supply just make sure my connections are right and this is it if you notice it's flickering that means it's charging let me see I'm on DC And it's 11.58 so that is 12 volts going in 12 volts going in the same 11.58 so I'll stop for a while and let it charge and I'll resume let the battery pick up a bit okay it's uh, fully charged the battery is fully charged and uh, 
if you notice the charger went off I had to change and use a charger because my homemade power supply wasn't activating the module so you could either use a buck converter like this or a battery charger but it cannot be a smart charger it have to be a dumb charger for you to get it going now let us go through this this module is pretty good I can recommend it but when you hooking it up make sure you have the right size wire for it and your positive from your battery here the positive going to the sorry the positive from the power supply here the positive going to the battery would be here the two negatives are connected together if you notice it here the two negatives are connected together I will not be able to call everything on the board I know this is a relay these uh, capacitors and I ordered one let me get it on Amazon yeah I ordered a uh, XHM6303 and I got a HW-6322 I notice uh, these days when you order things on Amazon what you order you get in a look-alike but it works okay so just make sure when you're hooking it up, you have the right size wire. I use these for demonstration purposes. You have the right size of wire. And your wire going to your battery has to be the right size. Also, don't use no thin, thin wire this is it for this video if you find it was informative please subscribe and give me the thumbs up it will take the channel a long way with uh, youtube thanks goodbye enjoy until the next one